silence. Mark Zito just stopped by. So you don't even know who these guys are? Uh, no. You took an ass kicking in here the other day with Watley, huh? Yeah, it was rough. Did he ever come over to you and say, hey, is this on air stuff? No. No. Mm. Did he use uh, <laughs> Fez voice? Did he use Fez voice? No, he uses monotone when we talk. Well, he was mad at you because you had a bigger part than him. I understand that. Did we play the kids play the uh, little fucking bit that the kid wrote the other day? Uh, we got this kid working for us, Gabe. And by the way, we need to fucking give Tommy a nickname to us. A fucking, we you gotta have a nickname for a fucking intern. You got one for him, Zito? I don't know. When I've talked to him in the halls, he's a really deep voice. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could go with something like that. Like deep voice? Well, hey, I mean, like, I was thinking we could create it up a little no, bit. No, you create it up. Give me a deep voice thing. Um, why are you doing wearing the colors? What are you doing? Wearing the... That's why Roland doesn't like you, because you always got a serious hat on. Oh. Because you're proud of your fucking job. I do. I do like uh, serious, but I was thinking maybe like a like baritone Tom. <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> What about baritone? Baritom, yeah, that it's could work. It's fucking terrible. I, I, Seriously. <laughs> You're laughing along with Zeitz. I was You're laughing at friends. his bad name. You're making friends. <laughs> you still can't find this at all? You can't find the bit from the other day? Yeah, I'm, I'm finding it now. What happens here? What happens Like when we leave? We're going like, just let's throw all the shit away? All right, what do we got here? We can't find it? Pulling it up now. Pulling up now. Where did you put it? The bottom of the fucking barrel? No, no, it's on top of the barrel. Well, Gabe fucking wanted to, you know, write up some nice fucking stuff for everybody. He wanted to go over big. So is is Ron and Friends featuring Fez Wally? Is that going to be picked up, or was that like a uh, one of those pilots that you know is brilliant, but it never really sees the light of day? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with Fez not being happy with it, I don't know how we can march on. We could recast the role. Oh, uh, Zito. Ooh, ooh. Uh, well, I mean, I was in on it. I thought it was fine. I was, like, ready to, to go with it. So I was thinking maybe the unhappy cast member, like, you could have another show, like a spinoff already. Like, you, this this project didn't work out, but we have a Fez development deal to do another show. I have two shows. Hold on. We got a good idea here. Uh, Kurt, you're on Ryan Fez. Hey, man, I've talked to that intern a couple times, and I think his nickname should be Homeless Tom Williams. I kind of like that. I like that. That's better than Bear Tom. <laughs> The bad time was pretty fucking stupid. All right, let's uh, play the bit again. Let's see if Fez should have been a little happier with it. Ron and Friends is taped in front of a live studio audience. That's not true. That was uh, good today, Fez. I think so. I don't know what it is, but you had it today, buddy. <laughs> all right, let's stop it there. Let's stop it there. Are you already unhappy with it? Well, yeah, because it seems like the laugh uh, went on for a little bit. Uh, a little too long there. So you're saying people were enjoying it too much? It should have been a shorter laugh? Yeah, I think to go with uh, with the rhythm of the sketch. But that's my laugh. That's the laugh that I had. Mm-hmm. So you're like, Ron's getting too big of a laugh. No, I just think it wasn't the right laugh for that bit, for that My that fucking space. delivery was dead on, dude. Dead on. And I had just glanced over that, so I was familiar with the material. So that's almost a shot at me. And I'm also, at this point, you know, the theme song, the uh, sloppy editing there didn't really work too well. Again, that isn't what you were pissed at the other day. That has nothing to do with what you were pissed no. at the other day. This is like when somebody doesn't like one little thing, they break down the whole project now. Well, this is all, now it, this is sh- shots at Chris Stanley. Yeah, these are all shots at me, yeah. What's your problem with Chris Stanley? Is he a bad producer? Well, that, uh, I don't think it, he worked well on this episode of uh, Ron and Friends. Guess not. I don't fucking believe. <laughs> this shit is fucking insane, Ron. What's eating at you, Pepper? See, I think there was uh, there was it was a bad line there. 
where he waited and waited till the audience, the so-called live studio audience, ended up uh, cheering for him. Well, that's what usually happens in a sitcom when... Yeah. Apparently, that's what I'm seeing with Gabe put into it. No, I understand what Gabe wrote. What's happening is you're drawing out your line waiting for the applause where you come through that door. It has to kick right in. Well, I'm fucking no, talking fine. and I'm running the board at the same time. It's also like Fonzie. Like when Fonzie walks in, everybody cheers. Right. He hasn't done shit. He has to get interrupted. He can't wait for it, is my point. So you're, again, this is an anti-Chris Stanley. Mm-hmm. So the other day, all you did was attack Zito. Well, we haven't even gotten to Zito stuff yet. Uh, you just, you run it and stop it wherever you want, Fizz. Should I start? <laughs> yeah, he was going to This shit you. is fucking insane, Ron. What's eating at you, Pepper? Did you see that Huff, what Huffington Post just wrote about Facebook? <laughs> Again, really big laugh, and I don't even think that was a joke there. That's what Gabe's script had in there. Laughing and cheering. I don't think all your all your laughs can be at the same intensity. Okay. Again, this is all Chris Stanley's fault, not Gabe's. Yeah, I'm real shit, huh? Now, the joke was, <laughs> if you listen to the Ron and Fez show, I'll get mad at him for bringing up Huffington Post and Facebook too bad. Too much. Oh, okay. It's the same bitch. This is a lot of times when you're locked. And I'll be like, again, with fucking Facebook every day, and I'll just bust his balls. It's interesting, though. <laughs> I know. That's what he does. <laughs> that's his quick response to me. <laughs> so that's what that laugh was about. Okay. All right. Keep going. Hicks, once a day is enough. <laughs> See, I think that should have had the bigger laugh. Ronnie's uh, just exasperation with you bringing it up. That's where the big laugh should have come in. Okay. And not that meandering one that was really late. Wow, Hicks, you suck as a producer. Yeah, I'm just shit, huh, Ron? <laughs> All right, go ahead. But this was just posted. Hey, guys, great show today. Oh, Sirius finally sent that talking plastic Zito doll. <laughs> <laughs> Real, real funny. I get it. I'm fake. <coughs> hey, Fez, uh, you did a great job today, buddy. Thanks, Mark. Can I get you anything, buddy? No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 All right, fuck, hold fuck. it before the fucks. It's too late. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you see it where I'm going to know it's good. No, thank you. So I say that's where the Zito influence came in on Gabe the intern. I think you probably liked that part because it was the longest you let it play out without stopping it. No, I was going through that in that exchange. I guess I didn't fucking. Wasn't because I liked part. it. So I don't understand what your problem is with it. No, I'm saying this is where uh, Zito comes in, starts getting all these lines, and I'm saying thank you. So that's what that's where I think the Zito where Zito got to Gabe the intern. So, but the thing was, Zito was being treated like the dick that everybody else is getting easy, easy laughs. Zito gets nothing. Right. I just think that's all part of his ploy. That's all part of his plan. Treat me like a dick, but you know that way I get a bigger part, and then nobody can call me on it. But instead, I saw through it and called him on it. I've been found out, Ron. That was my plan all along. I said, you know what would be awesome for me? I would like to be in this thing and be treated like a complete asshole. And then and then everyone will love me. Even your explanation is fake. All right, you can pick it up with the fucks. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ron, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you, we have a meeting with Cross today. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Like I always tell Fez, who gives a shit? <laughs> Getting better. Hey, where did Fez go? He left a minute ago. Neither of you noticed. I'm right here, Ron. <laughs> Sounds like you got the biggest laugh of the whole uh, bit, Fez. Blew up. And the ending laugh. Um, Kyle, you're on the Run Fez show. 
Hey guys, I was just wondering, Fez complaining about the studio audience laugh, but you know it's it's live entertainment. You can't exactly control the studio's emotion. Well, yeah, you can uh, if you are picking out the laughs to play. Yes, it's a live studio audience. Those weren't canned. Okay, fine. But I believe that uh, even the live studio audience could have been cued a little bit better then. Let's not okay. Ru- Let's not ruin the illusion. They cue live studio audiences. Well, this the one would have had. Sounds to like been. your biggest problems, Chris Stanley is a yeah. shitty producer, mm-hmm. and then Zito had more lines than you. Yeah, those are two major complaints, and I think that. And the other one okay. would be Zito going to the kid and getting himself written into a bigger part. So I have oh. two. I have two different complaints that are about me. Isn't it yes. the same one? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Right. So, what are your two complaints? The same complaint. It'd be like this. My favorite two colors are red and red. Those are my favorite. Now, two colors I hate: blue, and then of course blue. Heck, something's pointed out to me as you stink as a producer. Yeah, I guess I'm shit. I guess I'm just fucking not a good employee. Well, I get paid like shit, so I might as well be a shit. Oh producer. boy, back to the day, fucking. Now this is it. We're purse left yelling and then fucking yelling about money. <laughs> Everything's gone but the Dave jokes. Um, all right, eight six six run zero the Fez. Hi, you're on the Run and Fez show. Oops, lost you. Uh, hey Josh, you're on Run and Fez. Yeah, hey Fez, why don't you go over this stuff over in the producers meeting with the guys that are trying to help out the show instead of ridiculing them on air? Even you know all they're trying to do is bring material to the show. Pre-listen to the bit if it if it means that much to you. What I was trying to do was be surprised by the script, and trust me, I was. Yeah, well, why don't you, you should you should make up a script and, and do your own production, and then you could show them how it's done. You want to do that tomorrow, Fez? Where you rewrite this script the way you would have? <laughs> I'll rewrite it. Sure. Uh, same amount of time. Yeah. What do you mean, like tomorrow, right? No, but I mean, I want it to be the same length, so I don't want anybody going, oh, yeah, if I had an extra 10 minutes, sure, I'd be able to. Oh, okay, you yeah. you got to do it for the same amount of time, same people involved. Okay. Oh, no. What's wrong? <laughs> it's just going to be like scene one, Mark Gio, gunshot wound. I'm just going to be like, oh, God. Fez. So you're trying to get yourself into this one, too, okay. huh? See how he does it? It's very, it's a little ploy, I- and it's very, I guess it's subtle. Or at least he may think it is. Well, at least I'm not rewriting the whole script so I can have more lines. I'm rewriting the script to give it my vision. Yeah, well, what is your vision going to include? We will find out tomorrow. What if it doesn't have enough, to influence what if it doesn't have enough I'm not lines? answering to you. I don't, have, I don't have to run anything past you. What if there aren't enough lines for me? Serious cap? I don't have to run anything past you. Okay, white beard. I tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll pull the f- fucking hat down over your head and send you out of the room. Oh. Why? Why are you so mad? Because you're not calling me out here, asshole. <laughs> Don't do your fucking fake laugh. I ain't kidding, man. I am not kidding. I will give you your fucking marching orders. What is that left two, three, four, hut two, three, four? Uh, I'm not here to answer your fucking questions. Let's go over here to Bob. Bob, you're on the Run the Fez show. Yeah, calm down there, Grandma. That, that brother Fred you calm best, down, the, Grandma. <laughs> the brother Another Fred fake the laugh. I've heard for a long time. I, I was worried that they did play it over the weekend. I thought maybe you threw it in the garbage. Uh, let's go here to Jared. Jared, you're on Run Fest. It's a show within a show within a show. Sending Leonardo DiCaprio. This is when we can plant ideas, boys. See you. Hicks got a little nasty here for a second, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. Looks like we almost had a girl fight going on. Got a little weird. Got a little when, mean. It looks like we're going to end up back in the HR meetings again. Well, first he called him Serious Hat, and then he came back with White Beard. I just thought we were pointing out obvious things about each other. I didn't know what was happening there. Where did you learn this behavior, guys? Um, Diego, what do you got for Fez? Fezzy, get him. <laughs> get him, Fezzy, get him. I don't have to get him. I don't, it's, it's, I, I'm on the show. I don't need to sit here and go through your criteria. Uh, Randy, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, Fez, I was just going to tell you, you might want to calm down before you choke on your pizza, fatty. 
Do you have pizza? I have no pizza. Wish I had some pizza, but I have none. Well, it's easy enough. Call. Have it delivered. Hicks? I don't know if I can handle that. I might fuck it up. <laughs> oh! What, what is wrong with my soldiers? They all hate each other. Um, I wasn't even saying anything mean. I was just pointing out. You see, his fucking shit's hurt. And then, of course, the other thing that he brought up is a problem you never talked to him about. So he re-brought that up. Uh, Bob, you're on Hi, right, it sounds like the same thing that he did with that intern a couple of years ago when he got called out. He just loses his mind if anybody questions him. He's going to give everybody their walking papers. You hate to be questioned, Fess? Um, I hate to be questioned by someone who's got no point questioning me. What do you mean by that? I don't have to run down how I'm going to do this script tomorrow. To Mark Zito, I don't have to. I don't have to give get uh, script approval from him. Maybe we just shouldn't do it. Yeah, let's not do it. You know what? We're not going to go to the boardwalk this year. Let's just drive back home. Oh fuck! Uh, no one's get. No, there won't be any more trips. Look what we did. You almost got fucking dropped though. I was just I was just an actor concerned with my role. I was just trying to figure it out and he got really mad. I didn't There Oof. might be a fucking like dislike thing going on between you guys. I think so. Billy, you're on my fez. And this reminds me of Blood In, Blood Out, when Miko went into prison and he had to step up, I'm sure he wasn't a punk, and I feel like Fezzy needs to step up before Al takes his pork chop. Um You're ready to go fuck it off, huh, Fez? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was just in a bad, you're in a bad mood today. Yeah. You're in a cranky mood. I got crank I didn't mean to be cranky. I tried to start out very positive and got myself in a cranky mood. That's what, for sure. What happened? I just uh when I turned the cutler thing around on myself, I've been cranky ever since then. Just Wait. pissed at myself for being an idiot. You brought up the cutler thing again? No, when I brought it up before. I know, but now you got uh you know, you had it behind you. And it's back on the table. Yeah, I was just explaining what happened. I know, but here it is again. Um, Hicks, do you feel like Fez Lake Show? Sometimes, no. Especially mm. when he gets drunk and he fucking starts talking shit to me. He doesn't drink anymore. I, I haven't know. been drunk in a while, my I, friend. I know that, but I'm saying when people get drunk, sometimes maybe the real shit comes out. I don't know. But that's, that's just, you know, I'm just going back to that. That's all. <clears throat> Stink, you're on Fez. Stink. Hey, hey, buddies. How y'all doing? Good. Hey, uh, I was off. I wasn't touring for four and a half months. I got hurt. I turned on my radio. I was afraid maybe Fez itself you know, had imploded and was gone. But lo and behold, same guys talking the same shit, same secrets, same funky attitude from Fez. It's like I was never gone. It really is beautiful. I love you guys. Uh, Steve, you're on Fez. Yeah, hey, Fez, just wanted to let you know, man, you're coming off like a complete hypocrite with your anti-bullying and then beating up everybody that's underneath you. Um, I'm not the one that's starting any bullying here. Oh, well, you are. No, I'm not. I started getting questioned on what work I was going to do tomorrow by someone who has no business questioning me about it. Well, he was saying it in chest, and then... I don't care. Anybody that's under you, you know, you come off like a big, mean bear. Coming off like a bully. Yeah, I doubt that. I felt bullied. No, it's true. Listen to the tapes. Uh, G Money, you're running Fez. Yo, I wanted to see if uh, Fez took his Midol and cranberry juice this morning. Sounds like he's got his period. See ya. Um, Fez? Uh, no, no periods going on. No periods, period. <laughs> What's with the fucking fake laugh? I thought I'm sorry. I thought it was, I thought it was funny. Jeez, why is he? Why are you bullying me so much? I'm not fucking bullying you. I'm pointing out when you're being fake. Hicks, does it get better? Not with you around. It doesn't. Oh, Fez. And what? it won't. It won't. Keep taking your shots. Think it won't come back on you. I'm not taking shots at you. You can quit smiling at me. I know that much. Okay. That's what I'll do. Um, 
Here's uh, Leroy. You're on Running Fuzz. Same shit. Been gone for a week. Turn it back on. Fezzy's still crying about himself. I'm not crying about myself. Yes, you are. Everything's about you, Fezzy, ain't it, you little drama queen? Uh, why are you doing baby talk? Well, come on now, Fezzy. That's what I'd like to understand. I'm not your Fezzy. You're pissed off today, huh, buddy? Yeah. I was fine before. Now I'm pissed off. Keith, you're running Fez. Hey, Ron, Fez, what's up? Oh. Uh, you know, to me, it seems like at the end of the day, Fez is the fucking boss. And this little douchebag, you could tell his fucking laugh and his sarcasm. Fez is an easy target on your show, and nobody really keeps his apart. And yeah, he's crazy and all that other shit. But he's on his own all the time. It's, I mean, I listen to you guys for years. And it just seems like Fez is always on the defense. Um, he doesn't know not the when he does, you guys shit on him. Now, uh, well... Who's he pulled in to be on his side, though? He's fucking banged around each one of these guys. I mean, in the one thing, he just banged out Chris and hurt his feelings, and then banged out Zito. So who's going to fucking sidebar with Fez? Um, here's uh, Jake here in Fez. Hey, Fezzy, what's going on? What, uh, what can we do for you? Oh, man, I, I love mean Fezzy. You're a, being a mean badass, like a gangster fag, like Joe Rogan's gangster fag. I just got one thing you need to say is, uh, say, the only thing I like better than sucking cock, and that's fist fighting. That'll scare the shit out of everybody. See ya. Huh, if that's where you have to go, fine. Andy in Memphis. Hey, Fuzzy, just wondering if you got some sand in that vagina today. Hey, Danish! Try to have a little more helium before you call. Fuzz, I'll let you make your case. What's going on with you there, pal? I'm just, um, I was really trying not to put, uh, to put the panic behind me and come in, not, and not freeze up, not lock up, that sort of thing. And when I couldn't do it, I got really pissed at myself. So that's how it, that's how it started. And then I don't need, you know, someone who's, uh, two weeks into the building, uh, taking shots at me. So you, uh, you feel like you took shots at him? Not really. I felt like I did, if anything, the same thing he was doing to me last week. Uh, it's my show. I'm going to do what I want. Okay. Well, also, I feel like you're projecting some of your anger on me right now, too, based on what you just said. I was just asking about a little script, a simple little thing, and you got really mad and started, you know... Don't act like you were being all innocent and not trying to, you know, fucking push my buttons. Don't oh. act like you weren't. I was just, I was just talking to you. I was just, no, you I, weren't. Well, I mean, the, uh, let's look. Let's let's take it back for a second. On Friday, all you did was try and push my buttons about trying to fuck with the intern and try and get involved in the script. And so you said, "I'm going to write a whole new script," and it just seemed hypocritical based on the fact that now you were going to you were yelling at me for saying I wanted to put my influence on it. But if you write an entire new script, you're just forcing your influence on it. Yes, because it's my script, idiot. Okay, so that's all I was saying. Zito, do you want to write a script, too? Maybe I... Yeah, I'll write a script, too. All right, do you, want, you can write a script, too. All right, Fez is writing a script, and Zito's writing a script. Great. Um, here's uh, Tim in Indiana. You're going to run a Fez. Hey, is that Mark Zito fan club? Because if not, I want to be the president. You'll be the president and only member. <laughs> that, that kid cracks me up, Ronnie. Um... <laughs> 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Here's Norm Pittsburgh. You're on Fez. Fez, what you should really be worried about is the humongous shit I took in your mom's fish tank. Right, John, again. I couldn't even understand that. He took a shit in your mom's fish tank. Then he said red dragons, blue dinosaurs. Um, let's go over here to, um, here's John. John, you're on Fez. Yeah, the good thing about Fez getting mad is he becomes strong, confident Fez Watley. Kick ass, Fez. Love it. Uh, Chris, Phil, you're on Fez. Yeah, Fezzy, I love you, but I think the uh, the problem that you're having here with Zito is you see a lot of the bad things in him that you don't like about yourself and you project onto him. All right, I think I'm still fairly liked in the building. Kenny, you're on Fez. I was going to say, you know, Fez might be the dude with the girl voice, but every time Zito talks, he's the one who sounds like a straight bitch. Shit. 
Let's go by Crisco. Okay, Feds? Okay. And I consider Crisco one of the serious people to pay attention to. And here's what she says. No one cares if you shit on Zito. But Chris Stanley? For shame. Pepper is the best. Bond. That's, um... That actually fucking surprised me. You know, Chris Stanley's the dude. And if we were fucking, you know, if the Coen brothers came in here, he would be playing the part of the dude. Um, Matt, you're on my Yeah, I was just calling. I think fezzi has got a good point. I think all these other callers are failing to realize this. At any other workforce, if you had one of your underlings shitting on you, of course you'd be pissed off about it. There's zero hierarchy respect anymore. Well, there is some truth to that, but at the same time, uh, does he bring this up to you when you guys are doing meetings? No. 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 That would be the fucking place to say, here's the way I better get fucking treated. To not act like, oh, I'm going to ignore all those meetings. You got to fucking lay it out there. I got to say, this is the fucking deal. Uh, Let's go over here to uh, Matt, you're on my Hey, who the hell is this Mark Zito kid? Strong, confident Fez Watley already said a couple weeks ago he's only going to do the amount of work he feels he can do. Who was that an insult at? Oh, I think everybody. <laughs> I was unclear. I think across the boards. Um, uh, let's go here, uh, Nick. Nick, you're on Fez. Uh, hello, buddies. Yeah, you kind of fucked up my point, Ronnie. was saying that he should have brought it up in the meetings, so I'll exhale all that shit. But don't fuck with Pepper, man. Pepper's a man. Um, Fez, you thought, did you think you were a little harsh on Pep? No, I didn't think so. I was just going through the entire sitcom as we were stopping and starting. But I was did just you, pointing did, things out. Right, but did you see that Pep got his feelings hurt? Yeah, I did. And that was not my intention. But it happened. Right, I don't want to hurt Pepper's feelings. No, you did hurt Pepper's feelings. Yeah, but I didn't want to. But did you get around to straightening that out? No, I haven't. When do you plan on doing that? Producers meeting? Um, I mean, I could tell him now I didn't mean to hurt his feelings, and I apologize if they got hurt. But you said that his work was shit. All I said is that were, that those laughs uh, could have used some improvement. Did you tell him that at the producers meeting? No. Why did you wait to tell him on the air? Uh, Mike, Bronx, you're on Mike from the Bronx? Yeah. Yeah, uh, tell fucking Mark Zito that he needs to stop trying to be like, uh, Sam Roberts of ONA. Nobody likes him, he's a piece of shit. Fed, he, go fucking kill him. Please, throw do him you, out and leave him alone. Do you see yourself as a young Sam Roberts? No, I do not. Because that's come up a couple times. Uh, Lewis, Manhattan, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to tell Fez, man, you, you, you can't let this little guy get you. I mean... You know, I've, I've I've heard stories about him before, and now that I hear him on the air, man, he's just a little fish, man. You don't have to worry about this guy. What's going on with you and Zito, Fuzz? I'm not going to get uh, the Inquisition from him about whether he's going to be in my script or not. Is he going to be in the script? Doesn't seem like such a crazy question. If that's the rules that I have to use all the same people, yes, he'll be in the script. So why not just say you're going to be in the fucking script? Shut up. You're going to read what I tell you. That's the whole fucking point. I didn't fucking pick my lines last time or next time. Now, Zito, is Fez going to be in your script? Yes, he will, Ron. Fine. Good. And I'll knock it out of the park. (laughs) Big laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Aaron. You're in front of Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Fez, I mean, whatever your beef is with Zito's, your beef, whatever he has. But, you know, Pepper works his ass off, and who the fuck are you to, like, question or give him criticism? I mean, make sure your side of the street is clean. He brings more shit to that show than you have in the last, I don't, God knows how long. I mean, it's a struggle every day for Ron to pull you in. It's like, it's, I don't even know why your name's on the fucking marquee, bro. Seriously, say some face and fucking step down, man. All I got asked was to critique the sitcom. That's what I did. It was not an attack on Chris Stanley. Um... Let's go over here to uh, Scott, your man, Fez. Hey, uh, Fezzy, what, what are you doing? Why are you being in such a whack job? Take charge. I believe that's what I'm doing. I'm writing my own sitcom script tomorrow. That is good. Yeah, 
Why didn't you today? Why didn't you fix in the production meeting? Do you even know what you're talking about? We just said we just had this idea in the past ten minutes. Where'd Chris Stanley go? I know he walked away. See how upset? Trying to keep together, Ron. After what your shitty fucking oh production? The production was oh. shitty. It was just shit and garbage. Don't take that the wrong way. It wasn't meant that way. I don't know. It was just the words shit and garbage kind of bring... I did notice this, though. Uh, when I saw you get your fucking feelings hurt. Uh, you're a little fucking sensitive. At times. Why don't sure. you do this? Why don't you do this, General Johnny? Go home and write me a fucking poem, like a sweet poem, about <laughs> how bad you feel about shit. You're like little boy blue over there. Sure, underneath this gruff exterior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, who now? In terms of the fight that just took by place here, Oof. when we almost saw walking papers. Yeah. Marching orders. Uh, marching orders. Yeah. Well, the same thing. When it went some heavy name calling, it from serious hat to white beard. <laughs> who do you think was in the right? Who was in the wrong? If we were on a jury. I think Zito was getting a little ahead of himself there. He was getting a little fucking strong with him, wasn't he? Yeah. He definitely was. You feel like you were getting strong, Zito? Uh, not too strong, but maybe a little strong, yeah. Here's your problem, Zito. You got a fucking, you got the look and the voice of a creep. And you can't uh -huh. get beyond that. You're fucking creepy. So you could say, you know how like some people can fucking say shit and get away with it? Not me. You ain't one of those guys. You just didn't get that fucking lucky voice, lucky timing, lucky look. It'll never come off as you're joking around, ever. But you know that's what he's trying to do, right? I can't tell. I think, no, I, I think it wasn't joking around. I think it was trying to poke Fez with a stick. Yeah, but I poke you with a stick. Chris Stanley pokes you with a stick. Dave pokes you with a stick. That's the fucking point. Yeah, but if in we didn't fun. poke you with a fucking stick, yeah, exactly. You don't think he did it in, with, in fun, though? Exactly. And see, I think it's his, his creepy look and his creepy voice that makes him come off like a creep. No, but, I think he'd like to be one of the guys. I think you nailed it there because it is a very yeah, but that, creepy but he voice. can't help it. It's like being born Baby Yui. Baby Yui just wants to go around with the other kids, sit on the fucking swings with the swing breaks, but he don't know it in his fucking me head. He's just one of the kids. And I think in Zito's head, he's one of the guys. But then he gets around the ONA guys, and they're like, what a fucking creep. But he ain't doing nothing more than anyone else does. But a guy like Roland, I was like, oh, that Roland's so eccentric and fun. You know, just because he gets that fucking pass. Chris Stanley gets the pass. Chris Stanley's a regular guy. That's right. Um, Let's go over here to Jay. You're on running Fez. Uh, hey, Ronnie, I want uh, Pepper to uh, take the gloves off and crit criticize uh, Fezzi's last six months. Um, do you want to do that, Pep? I, I, I'm not going to do No, I'm not going to criticize Fez. I'll be positive. Uh, let's go over here to Mike. Mike, you're on Fez. Yeah, Ron. Yeah. Yeah, hey, uh, I don't know if uh, Fez has ever made a real apology in his life. Um, when he was, uh, he asked him about hurting, uh, Stanley feelings, you know, he said, well, I'm sorry if your feelings were hurt. It's such a classic non-apology. Um, you know, it's not to really apologize for anything. I don't think any apology would satisfy you, Mike, and I have no but apology have you ever to given make. A certain apology. Do you remember the last fucking break? I just asked you about a third party with us. Uh huh. That I felt like you fucking just blew off and screwed over, and you're like, I don't know, whatever. I mean, you wouldn't give me nothing back. So it's very fucking strange. Sometimes I, I, I see some of that. I'm not talking about Zito. Whatever happens to Zito happens. But Chris Stanley's put his fucking time in, and he's a real fucking producer. He produces results. And you're a little harsh on him, that's all. That was the point. And he got his fucking feelings hurt, and your point was, oh, I didn't mean to. That's not the same as, hey, let me explain this. Here's where I'm coming from. Uh, Renee, you're on my face. Hey, fellas, what's going on? 
Hey, Fezzy, you should be my favorite person on the show, but you're mean, man. You're a bully. The worst kind of bully is someone who knows how it feels to be bullied and then still goes and makes other people feel like that. Okay, so I'm the kind of bully who's getting talked to and then I shouldn't stick up for myself. That's the kind of bully that you want. You don't feel the way you feel. That's awful. You're mean, Fezzy. Yeah, I understand, Renee. Very deep voice for a woman. Oh, come on. That's the worst thing that you can say about a fucking... A man. Bag. The worst. Pond. Well, second worst is probably a, a, a boy's balls toucher's. Oh, it's not even men? Mm. Fucking kid toucher? Uh, Higgs, didn't you say that your chick tried to cup your balls and went in and got a little asshole for herself? No, I never said that, Ron. Would you give it up? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. What if it really turned her on? I don't, I don't like the sound of or thought or feel of it. Or what about a thumb? What? <laughs> That's the thickest of fingers. What about knuckle deep? No. No. That's... First knuckle. Oh, no. Come on. Let's go over to the writer of the script, intern Gabe. Gabe. Ron, how are you doing, sir? I will tell you how I'm doing, Gabe. Your script is the worst thing that's ever happened to this show. <laughs> it is tearing us apart. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to you, Ron. I didn't mean to... Do this to you. I... It's that fucking script put on the top of it, Heaven's Gate, because it is a Hollywood disaster. Uh, perhaps again, it, it was just supposed to be a quick thing. Fez, I, I, I'm really sorry that this blew blew into such a huge, huge problem. I, I, I'm honestly I feel bad for Pepper, especially because you know I, di- I didn't ask him to help produce the Ron and Friends and. You know, he did his best, and he, he was doing a lot of work that day. And, Gabe? Uh, yeah. Rewrites are starting now. This is costing us money. Yes, I know that. And you know what? I actually, Fez, I actually missed your critiques earlier in the show today. Uh-huh. If, please, could you give them, could you say them again so I can actually write them down and see what you have to say. No, because then I'll be bullying everyone, according to the callers. No, Fez, you won't be bullying me. I want your critiques. I need. I Just would be like honest to know. with the kids. Give, give him your critiques, Fez. Oh. All right, there was a couple of jokes I didn't get, and well, there was... Be specific, uh, though. Uh, okay. uh, I didn't understand uh, why uh, all the fuck, fuck, fuck stuff. I didn't get that. And oh, influence. geez, that's mean. Damn it! God, he's just a kid. And I thought he's some just of the, a kid. And what my other critique was a lot of the production cues were way off. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. that's me. You know what? No, but you know, as writer of this script, I, I also have to take responsibility for how it gets produced because writers, especially for TV shows, they're helping direct, they're helping produce. Their 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 hands are almost as far as the producer themselves. So can I, I tell you one thing up. about? Fucking Hollywood, my friend. Yeah. No girl ever wants to fuck the writer. Get that in the back of your head. <laughs> You're joining the one part of show business that doesn't get laid. Uh, I, to be fair, Ron, I, I didn't get in. I don't want to get into it for that. Uh, this is something I really am. And that sounds about. gay, my friend. Because uh, there's not a fucking job out there. You know what? I actually the first job I had was only. Only to be- meet girls. What was that? Kidnapper. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I like pull the van over. Do you think she likes me? I'll throw a fucking bag over her head. You know, uh, Ron, if you'd like, maybe after the show one of these days when I'm in, we could actually host a writer's meeting where all of us talk about the script and really see what we can get Well, you really want to be a writer, other. don't you? Yeah, I do. And you know what? This is, uh, I'm taking this seriously, Ron. I, w- I want Ron and friends to get, friends to get picked up. Hopefully, be a semi regular series. You know, I really want to semi regular. We're on every other week. <laughs> That's even that is regular in its own sense. Seriously, I I want to help you, Gabe. Why don't you at least try to become a producer? Well, the thing is, when you become a writer, you practically are a producer at that point because they're going to be asking you questions that you, as the writer, will only know, and you'll have to actually produce in your own sense. I like this kid a lot. Seriously, you're all hard, kid. Thank you, Ron. All right. Is there anything uh, else? When are you coming in? Tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday. All right. Wednesday, we'll have a writer's meeting. All right. Like All right. It. Peace. Take it easy. I really like that kid a lot. He's general of the intern army. He really is. Great listener. I'm not taking your smart-ass remarks, creep. 
what what is that about? He's uh, a great listener. Oh, now he's going to act like I'm joking about having the intern write me into the script. Can I just tell, say something? Jokes aren't your strong suits, creepy. All right, can I fucking bring up something here? What's that? I was the one who told me about being creepy, and now you're using it like a weapon. I think you're fucking, it's perfect. I know, it's but the I don't need, description. I was trying to fucking tell him what his problem is in life, and you're using that as a fucking weapon. So, uh, you know, I'm saying, look, it's not your fault, kid. You're just a little creepy. And then you're like, hey, that's fucking great. Ron told him he's creepy. He accepted it. So I'll slap him in the head with it. He's from fucking Rhode Island. Do you even get it in your mind, Fez, how small that fucking state is? I can't imagine. Small. He could, as, at age 80, he could piss across it. It's not a big state. Joe, you're on Fez. Hey, uh, I'm in a TV business, and uh, where does Vito get off being an asshole? Uh, hierarchy, respect, seniority. Quit being a con. Let Fez have his voice. See ya. What do you say when you hear stuff like that, Zito? Can well, you quit being a cunt? I'm going to, I mean, I can, I can make a solid effort at it, but I was, I didn't know I was hurting, uh, hurting Fez's voice. I was just trying to ask the same questions he asked me. Why? I was just curious what my new role was going to be since he made such a big deal out of my apparently huge role in the, uh, in the first script. I, I assumed he was going right, to write but, me out. But when you try to do that to somebody, it's like, Look, you don't like being treated this way. We all get that, right? Yes. Now, that's why you did it, right? Yes. To teach him a lesson. But you're really not on equal footing with the fucking guy. That's true. You are just a wet behind the ears. So what did you possibly hope to gain out of it? Thought we'd, uh, we'd have a dialogue like we had. Why don't you really say, I really want to sit down and talk with you? Not... Because that would be construed as fake from Fez's point of view. And I know he's he's already basically said that... He will never believe anything I say seriously, so that seems like a fruitless effort for me. It's easier to just put it out there here and hope a little bit of it uh, lands. So there, for you, there's no way you guys are ever going to get even, like, comfortable enough. It's always going to come back to the same shit. Well, I mean, I, I've, I've made an effort. It seems like he just really wanted to stay on this fake thing, so I'm going to let him do that. If that's what? what he wants to do, if he thinks I'm creepy and fake and whatnot, that's fine. Hicks, you picking up at this at all? That it's just a fucking nightmare? It's super awkward. And they don't like each other at all. Fucking Gabe really tore us all apart. Well, Gabe didn't mean to. He's a fucking sweet kid. True. Let's face it. He's a fucking bell of the ball, this young man. Um, Ed, Philly, you're in Memphis. Hey, Ed? Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, no, I just want to remind everyone, uh, when Fez was critiquing the, uh, the script, he threw everyone under the bus, including Ron. Yeah, you did. You said my laugh was too long. And then you stole the creepy line from me and used it as a fucking weapon. It's like if somebody would have taken my polo mallet, blunged in the fucking maid with it, and then put it back. And I'm like, that wasn't me. And they're like, is this your polo mallet covered in blood and brains? I'm like, yeah, but I don't know how it got like that. I just use it for, you know, polo shit. You got to come with us, sir. No. no I'm going to get on my polo horse and fucking ride out of here. Stop. Stop that man on that polo horse. Here's what I don't understand, right? So polo is, like, considered kind of pussy and weird, right? Uh, I'd say but, ro guy. but rodeo is fucking so great. I mean, just figure it's a rodeo, but you get sticks and you got to hit a fucking ball with it. But here's the part I don't like, because they're like, oh, he scored. I'm always like, why wouldn't he? I don't see a fucking polo fucking goalie stopping anyone. How about have somebody over there on a fucking rhino just trying to fucking hold that net? You see where I'm going? I'm going absurdity. Mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting to me. I'm watching these two fucking schoolgirls giggling away, and you're, lo and you're fucking uh, staring at me, and you have a face like I just took a baby and smashed its fucking head on some rocks. <laughs> What was the look of horror you were Let's giving me during my absurdist fucking rant? Oh, I have no idea. I didn't even know I was doing it. Do you uh, understand why you didn't, like, even giggle or find it interesting? They're fucking biting their wrist over here. I'm talking about White Hat and <laughs> Bad Producer. Oh, come on. That's my nickname now? Huh? 
That's my nickname now. You're creepy too, creepo. You creep. I embrace the creepiness. Fuck it. Yeah. Let's get weird as shit in here. You feeling better, Fez, that you got that off your chest? I think so, yeah. I think it needed to be said today as I was being challenged on some things. You're going to bring that up with your shrink tonight? Yeah. So you're going to think I'm the problem now? You do seem to be as big as fucking problems, Edo. <sighs> Pat Oswald on Mass this weekend. Saturday, 8 p.m. on Raw Dog. Who, who are you, Watley now when there's an uncomfortable silence? You start selling? <laughs> that's the most... Un- I thought that's what happened. I thought you just plug something when it gets really silent. Keep it up. Don't tell them to keep it up if you don't want them to. I can't stop that one. Actually, that was funny. I'm sorry. What's that? <laughs> that one actually can't stop. Uh, that I actually. What? What? What's making you laugh? Like, Cracking be- yourself up before, a lot. Before I wasn't trying to fuck around. That one I kind of was, and so I was just like, "Well, yeah, I, I got nothing." You think on that one. it's a smart thing to fuck around now? No, no, Fez. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't, Fez. Just give me a second. What part did you think was funny? Were you throwing the Pat Oswald? Yeah. So you already have this thing that you don't think Fez is fucking. Or you think he's some kind of a weirdo or whatever the fuck? Well, I mean, I'm... I'm you think he's lacking on air? No, 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 no. I'm inclined to to, to uh, feel ill will against him only because he feels it against me. So it kind of brings it out in me. Like, if somebody's kind of treating me like shit all the time, I'm not going to be great to them. What if somebody treats you good all the time? You're like, oh, man, I really like the way you say Patton Oswalt's on Mass is coming up. Yes. I would be, I'm, I'm obviously inclined to be nicer to somebody if they're nicer to me, but I mean, every time I've been in here, Ron, all he does is he paraded the O&A producers in one day, he talks shit the other time, every time it's fake, it's my fault when something's going wrong. I don't understand why. Oh, you're finally getting it. You know what? Can I help you become a regular guy? Yeah. Regular guys don't drop inclined in over and over in a fucking thing. Like all the years you'll all know right. Chris yeah. Stanley. You'll never hear, hear Chris Stanley say to me, Ronnie, I'm inclined to chop my fucking dope before I snort it. You don't – You seriously, you right. s- sometimes let me just tell you this. You sound like you were raised by a butler, a fucking odd gay baby-touching butler. Oh. And they're fucking all like that. I mean a butler's oh. like that. Every single one? Because, you know, when – um. Seriously, some guy said to my dad, he goes like this, um, you, uh, would you like to get a butler in your house? He goes like this, let me think, do I want somebody to blow my kids? No, no fucking butler for us, get out! And I go, dad, I know, who are you fucking screaming at? They don't have fucking butlers, they're not selling them door to door. He goes, yeah, this guy's trying to sell me a butler. I fucking open up the door, there's no one there. Oh. And I go like this, somebody been eating my ass at... And then I thought to myself, wait, I don't even live with my dad. Who the fuck am I talking to? And it was a shadow. So that's the fucking moral of the story I'm trying to uh, tell you here. When you use words like inclined, regular guys are going to think you're a fucking nut. Dave, you're on Whoops. Let me try you again. Dave, you're on the run of show. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, um, would Sergeant Hartman be able to motivate Fez to uh, basically do the bathroom scene where he says, why aren't you stomping his guts out, you know, private pile? You know, Mark Zeta reminds me of private pile. And I think Fez ought to get the Sergeant Hartman on and start whacking his ass. I'm not going to hit anybody, but that's what he's talking about. Why put that on the table? I would never let on that to any fucking human being. By the way, it'll never get so bad that I hit you. (laughs) Oh, really? Then I'll say whatever I want. Fuck yeah. (laughs) Don't worry. I have a gun, but don't worry. I don't shoot. It's not loaded. It's just for effect. (laughs) Don't worry, everyone. Just give me a while, though, please. Well, look at you doing Fez voice all all of a sudden. (laughs) Fez voice. I heard you get a little lispy there. Really? On purpose, yeah. Like, fuck you. <laughs> uh, this says the hatred between Zito and Fez should fuel the beginning of the next chapter of Siren series. 
Uh, I think Fez and Mark Zito should settle their differences in a blowjob contest. Quickest to make Hicks comes wins. Let me, can I explain something to people that Hicks can't come when he was younger? He was fucking a pile of gravel. And I guess so much of that rock went into his piss hole that he can't get his wood full up and the cum won't travel through there. No, it's like cement down a well. Right, let me just point out something to our young people. Expect, especially the young people from Garnet Valley and Drexel Hill. All right. Don't fuck piles of gravel. You fuck up your deck and then you can't come. Mm-mm. I'm walking proof. You're not even walking that well. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, the fucking gravel in my dick hole kind of makes it limp. Sure. All right. We're going to break here. This is the Ron Fez show. We're here with you till, uh, I think, 3 o'clock today. Rob, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, I was wondering if we are getting a new episode of Ron and Friends today. Uh, there's supposed to be uh, new episodes. Uh, Fez Watley is going to. Do you have one written, Fez? I have my Ron and Fez. Uh, Ron and Fez. Ron and Friends sitcom ready to go. Ooh, sounds like you're trying to push your way into that. Kind of interesting. I know Fonzie did the same thing on Happy Days. Started pushing Ron Howard to the side, and before you know, it was all about him. Uh, and that Mark Zito was going to have one. Uh, grab Mark. Mark, did you have one in your way? Because it got ugly between you and Fez yesterday. I, too, have written a script and am ready to go. Interesting. All right, so we'll do that a little long, later on today, maybe in the 2 o'clock hour. Maybe in the 2 o'clock hour, uh, we'll jump on top of that. But I'm glad to see when you guys will. And you can say whatever you want about the staff of Ron and Fez. But if they get an assignment, they get it done. Will they have facet? Yeah, probably. But it does show up. And every teacher knows that if they have some kind of paper in their hand, they really can't fucking fail you straight out. Uh, we'll talk to you later, uh, Paul. Well, uh, we're about to set up for uh, the big sitcom. And I think what we'll probably do, uh, Chris, if it sets himself up that way, is to probably play the old sitcom first. And that way it can remake. Now, we we have a, a young gentleman named Gabe, and he's not working today, right? No, Gabe the intern isn't here. And he's a young go-getter, and he's got one thing on his mind, and that's being a sitcom writer. Uh, and he'll sit around at night with uh, Maury Amsterdam and, and Rosemary, and the three of them will sit in front of their typewriters, and they'll just write up funny jokes and sketches for everybody to enjoy. Well, he said to me, he said, uh, uh, he said, Mr. Bennington. I go, hey, Mr. Bennington's my dog's name. I'm Ron. I actually named my dog Mr. Bennington. Well, I guess it helps if he gets lost. Well, no, that's not why I do it. I do it if a fucking bill collector shows up and asks for Mr. Bennington. I just set that fucker loose. I go, that's what you asked for. Bite him. Go, Mr. Bennington. So anyway, where was I? Oh, I remember Manhattan. So uh, he comes over to me and he says, Mr. Bennington, I know that's my dog's name. Call me Ron. He goes like this. I got one dream. And uh, and that's to you know, have you guys play this out on the air. And I go, I'm not a fucking dream maker, kid. I'm not going to be here for you for that. And he goes like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I was born with half a heart, and I'm not going to live long. And I go, this fucking show is going on the air. And it went, obviously, all of us did a great uh, read. Uh, Hicks was in it. I was in it. Fez was in it. Mark Zito. As we were sitting around celebrating after the fact, suddenly someone pees in the Cheerios. And that's Fez Watley. You were angry, as angry as I've ever seen you, Fizz. Yes, I felt like I was very much dismissed in that sitcom scene where uh, my lines were very, very limited, and I, I felt there was a conspiracy about it. Um, let's take a listen, and we'll see if it went uh, as bad as Paul, as Fez thought. <laughs> Ron and Friends is taped in front of a live studio audience. That was uh, good today, Fez. I think so. I don't know what it is, but you had it today, buddy. (laughs) 
I don't fucking believe. <laughs> this shit is fucking insane, Ron. What's eating at you, Pepper? Did you see that Huff what Huffington Post just wrote about Facebook? <laughs> Hicks, once a day is enough. <laughs> but this was just posted. Hey, guys. Great show today. Oh, Sirius finally sent that talking plastic Zito doll. <laughs> <laughs> real, real funny. I get it. I'm fake. Hey, Fez, uh, you did a great job today, buddy. Thanks, Mark. Can I get you anything, buddy? No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Ron, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you, we have a meeting with Cross today. Fuck! <laughs> That's okay. Like I always tell Fez, who gives a shit? Did Fez go? He left a minute ago. Neither of you noticed. I'm right here, Ron. <laughs> all right, excellent work all the way around. And then we were all happy, uh, and you were unhappy, Fez. I was very unhappy. That a my... little unhappy? I was a lot unhappy, my friend. Smidge? A lot. Can I just say something? When you say my friend, you never mean it. I've always noticed that about you. So when he says my friend, it means fucker. You know what I'm saying there, Hicks? Oh, yeah. Mm. Got it. Got you, my friend. Uh, what didn't you like about it, Fez? I didn't like the fact that I was basically shut out on lines, that I was taken out of the deal there. You had I'm right here, Ron, which was the ending big laugh. Yeah, but I was cut out of most of the scene. What so, was, and it was supposed to be Ron and Friends featuring Fez Watley. And mm. then I saw other people getting bigger parts that probably shouldn't have that weren't named Ron or a name featuring Fez Watley. All right. Well, you've uh, actually yesterday, if anybody remembers yesterday's show, and I don't, but uh, it turned a little ugly in here. And it was a shoot ugly match down to the fact where I, you know, after the show had a little powwow. With Fez and Zito, because you don't like Zito, and Zito, you don't like Fez. Mm -hmm. And you don't, ma you don't like him mainly for the way that he treats you. And you don't like Zito. Why, Fez? Because he's... I think he's manipulative, and he goes behind people's back. Just back? Oh, he goes in there. Uh, I guess he goes around their front, too. But you make it sound like people have a shared back. I think that should have been a plural. Because you said Zito... Got into the kid's ear. Yeah, I think Zito totally influenced the last sitcom that we were doing, that scene. He, uh, I think the kid was a little lost, and instead of letting him can do I his own work... Can I quote Pete Townsend? Mm -hmm. The kids are all right, so let's blow them. All right, so you rewrote this in your own image. Yes. And um, we're all in the same parts, right? Yeah, I mean, everybody is uh, still in it. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, Ron and Friends featuring Fez Watley. Ron's in it, Fez is in it, Chris Stanley's in it, and Mark Zito is even still in it. Quick question. Some stage direction. Should I play this as James Mason? Um, I think it would be Hello and welcome to Ron and Fez. <laughs> I'm James Mason. That's really, really good, but I think you should play this as Ron Bennington. Desert Inn has heart. The Desert Inn has heart. I don't want a cookie. I want a meal. Mm. All right. No. Now, I think Ron Bennington okay. instead of Albert Brooks. There it is. Let's uh, tighten that up in post, though. So. Will do. All right. So everybody's got their parts here. And this is the first time we're all seeing these. And, uh, Fez, you typed this. And I'm going to say right off the bat, looks like it's, uh, it's, Double uh, spaced. Yeah, just uh, just so it would be so it'd be clear. Um, I love it, 
and uh, I can't wait to do this. And off we go. Rod and Friends, featuring Fez Watley, was filmed live in front of a pre-recorded audience. Well, Ron, another show, another dollar. If that's the case, then you're overpaid. Hey! Ron and Fez, something terrible's happened. Another death in the family? <laughs> that's impossible. Why? Because he's out of relatives. My giant bottle of scotch is missing. Calm down, Hicks. Maybe you just drank it all. <laughs> Fez, check his breath. Anything? No scotch, but I think that tuna salad sandwich I was saving for lunch is gone. <laughs> is anything else missing? Just your lines from the last time we read one of these sitcoms. <laughs> all right. Are there any possible witnesses? Bring in Zito. Zito, do you know anything about the missing scotch? No. Uh, are you sure? Yes. You didn't take it? No. You can go. Okay. I think we have another crime on our hands, Ronnie. What do you mean? Someone stole Zito and replaced him with a fake. <laughs> we need to set a trap. Do you have anything of any value? My virginity. No, we need something that someone would actually steal. Hey! All right, Fez, nice uh, job there. Uh, by the way, our laughs are just all over the place, though, huh? Yeah, a little bit. That that still needs... The pre-recorded audience needs to be worked with a little bit more, I guess. Well, uh, do you like that one a lot better? Oh, yeah, I think that was a million times better than what Gabe turned in. So, but Gabe is just a kid, and you're, uh, as you know, just a, well, you're a, you've been in the business for a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's a situation where, yeah, he could probably learn from that, from that recreation, that reinvention. I felt like my role was a little reduced, I have to say. I mean, I'm okay with it. I just, I felt like it was... It was cut down a little bit, seemed to be only one-word answers, mm. and that was a little strange given that I, I really thought I hit it out of the park on the last read and showed my range. You did have some range in that, but you did play, like, you know, a big part here, but the the weird thing is... You that got four lines. Here, here's what I, 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 you know, we didn't really wrap it up, though, Fez. Like, I thought it was going to be Zito, and then it wasn't, and it just ends with, it's almost like... A, you know, there's there's no ending to this. We didn't catch the person. Well, it was just one scene. Yeah, but in the one that we had yesterday, was there was a beginning, middle, and end. And here we had no end. Where'd that scotch go? Yeah, we'll never find out. Fuck. Not unless we get him to write more scenes. Hmm. Uh, what did you think of it, Hicks? I thought it was good. I'm surprised as how small Zito was in, though. I missed uh, that. Hicks getting the big applause as he came in. I, I I thought that that was lacking. Oh, I thought it went, I thought it flowed very naturally. I thought it was a way to get to his crisis sooner. Yeah, but the thing is, like you know, we really wanted him to be like the Kramer character. I really liked that from Gabe's thing. All right, now it's time to uh, read Zito's. And again, none of us have seen this. Have you seen it, Fez? No, I have not. Well, he did not double space. All right, uh, when you're ready, uh, Hicks. Ron and Friends, starring Ron Bennington, Chris Stanley, Mark Zito, and Fez Watley. Okay. Ron and Friends is filmed in front of a live studio audience who are allowed to laugh just as long as they please. Oh, man. Ain't life grand when you can just hang out in a pile of money? I am so fucked up right now. 
But luckily it's cool because I'm appropriately compensated. Hey, Pep, what are you up to? Nothing, really. Just waiting for my pal Mark Zio to show up so we can hang out and do cool things. He's pretty awesome. He is great, isn't he? Hey, guys. Hey, Ron. Hey, Pepper. Where's Fez? I want to hang out with all my best buddies. Oh, there he is. What are you saying, Fezzy? Huh? Let me read this note. Hmm. It says here, I tried to swallow a guy's load, and it stuck my lips together. I can't breathe. Oh, my God. You can't be serious. Come on, Fez. Come on, Fez. Get it? That's a cum pun. (laughs) Whoa. Fez doesn't look so good. I think Fez just suffocated and died. Oh, no. I wonder what happened. Maybe he finally choked on one of his huge orange seeds. I kept telling him they went down easier with lettuce, but he wouldn't listen. (laughs) Either way, though, I think we should have a moment of silence in his honor. How fitting. Oh, Pepper! All right, there it is. Uh, that's uh, Mark Sinus. How did you feel that the read went? I thought that went great. It yeah. uh, it was, you know what? When I was when I was writing it on the page, I honestly didn't think it could come out as good as it did right really? there with that read. Uh, Chris, what did you think? I enjoyed that read. Sure, yeah. We're definitely going to need an XL channel. I mean, we're going to be thinking Showtime or HBO with this. We're never going to get it on network. Uh, Fez, what did you think? I thought it was awful. I don't even think it was doing the assignment. It was supposed to revision the sitcom, and then I end up with two lines that aren't even lines. They're just noises. Yeah, but you were very integral to the role, like the, the whole scene. You were, mm. You're really important. Like, like, where would the big chill be if that guy didn't die? That's Kevin Costner, by the way. Yeah. If, if he didn't die, where would everyone be? The, the whole thing was revolving around you. It was mm. a reimagining of Ron and Friends featuring I, Fez. I really, if I was being honest about this, I think Gabe's was the way to go. I like Gabe's best. Hicks, what about you? Gabe's knocked out the park, I thought, originally. And he was the only one that gave Pepper the big fucking applause break as he walked in. Yeah, I liked that a lot. It made me feel good about myself in the sitcom world. The only thing I did like a lot was the bringing back giant orange seeds and lettuce wraps. Because that way, you know, you got those inside jokes that I'm always a fan of. Yeah, and it's, it's you know, it's character development. Uh, you know, if you're a fan of the show, you know about those things. And I think that really built up Fez's character. I thought, and Fez... Nothing built up my character. I didn't even have any lines in this. Well, also, I wanted to let you know... And I got booed upon entrance. Never mind that Chris Stanley didn't get cheered. I got booed. I thought moaned. I thought it was a great read, though, by you. Did a great job with it. There was nothing to read. My uh, The two words I got to say were spelled M-R-F-F-H-H-H, M-R-F-F-H-H-H. Those are hard to pronounce, and you did it great. Uh, John, you're a manifest. Hey, Ron, I I just want to say, uh, I think Fez is the best. I like the, uh, the joke about, uh, Hicks' uh, dead parents. That was great. Um, let's go over to, uh, Lady Trucker. Lady Trucker, are you there? She must be reading my part in Fez's script. Oh! Your line count was exactly the same as the original that gave the intern sent in. I tried to do the assignment. I tried to write a sitcom scene. He wrote an attack piece. No, no, no. It was it was a scene. It followed all the rules. It had all the same characters. We were all there. We all had lines. All right, I'm going to go over to 202 Friends and check. Um, here's some of your early reviews. Okay. Uh, Zito, hands down. Uh, Zito's script is better than Fez's. Sorry, Fez. Zito wins. All hail the new king of 202. Ron and friends, more like Ron and a freak. Um, here's one that I like. Whenever Zito speaks, all I hear is douche, 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 douche. Only more fake. Um, was that a Fezzy Lou production? 
Fezzi, great opening, but aren't all recordings pre-recordings? And is Fez's inner voice in the sitcom? No, it wasn't. Might have been a mistake then. That it might have been something that you wanted to think of in the future. You know, add a little more. It's kind of like the great kazoo of uh, this. Um, here's another Zito wins. Zito wins hands down. I'm a little surprised about uh, the Zito love here. I am shocked. I don't know why you're so shocked. I thought there was good character development. I spent some time on it. I mean, you come in, and, and you know, I didn't give Hicks the big applause thing, but I gave him the opening. He's lying there, kicking back, producer Pepper. And... I know, but I just still like that thing where he walks in and everybody applauses. I always liked it with Fonzie, and then I liked it with Kramer. All right, when we go into rewrites, I can I can definitely add a, a little applause for him. But I thought, you know, everyone was developed. Ron was coming in, just checking in with everyone. Fez, you, you know, you had that... That mouth problem that was going on, people, the audience at home, be like, "What's going on with that?" We explained don't it. Don't was... act like you wrote a script. It was an attack piece on me. I don't know about that. I, I mean... died from having a load in my mouth. Well, that could do happen. me a favor and fucking pull that for me immediately. Uh, Nate, you're running Fez. Hey, uh, Fezzy, after that read, what does cum taste like? Um. I can't tell you. I don't have any lines in that world. I thought you were a method actor. Uh, let's see some of these. Uh, Zito wins. Fez sounded like a Garnet Valley play. Zeno, Zito has the personality of a flashlight. Fuck Zito. Watley Pos- uh, Posse Productions killed it. Fez up. Zit hoes down. Uh, Fez is so fucking money. Mark Zero just became my hero. Zito's was funny. Fez's was not. Fez Watley plus one for the win. Um... You're picking up some heat here, Fez, but uh, it still looks like Zito's got this thing, even though I still pick Gabe over everybody. Um, Let me go back and read some more. This is on 202 Friends on Twitter. The load Fezzy choked on was Zito's. Um, Zito can't act in sitcom scenes or in bits on your show. Fez sounds like an old queen with no humor. Fez was a little gay. All right, so we are struggling through some of these. We're going to have to go back and work on it no matter which way we go. Hmm. It doesn't seem like the audience is overly happy with what we got here. They seem to be kind of supporting the direction I was taking it. I think maybe Gabe and I could work together to kind of mold what the Fez character could be in you the future. You worked together the first time. Oh. That's the kind of repartee I would have loved to see in your, in your sitcom uh, script. Could have been a big laugh there. It would have been great. Yeah. Uh, how do you think Hicks did today? Any better producing it? I thought Hicks was a lot better today. Hmm. Um, Dan, you're on running Fez. Ron. Yeah. Uh, it's the one. And as my brother in law always say, I like sucking dicks. There you go, Jess. I didn't get his bet. Uh, hold on, it's intern Gabe. Um, wow, this one surprised me. Crisco, who laid you out yesterday, Zito, mm-hmm. writes, I hate to say this, but Zito made me laugh. Thank you, Crisco. Uh, Mark Zito is, is Fez's muse. He needs a foil. Gabe wins again. Um... The Sun Valley Senior Class Show was more entertaining. That's a fucking rip. And uh, this one I like, Zito Blows, though. I'll be sure to retweet that one. Yeah. Mm, always retweet. Uh, but intern Gabe wants to talk to us. By the way, uh, you can put your reviews up on 202 Friends. Hopefully, it looks like we're going to do this outside the studio system. We're going to take this around a four wall around the country, see if we can't get going. What do you got there, intern Gabe? What do you think, pal? Uh, well, what did we do to this, Ron? I, I, I'm, I'm broken up about this. No, um, why are you upset? I, it, it was uh, we had we had a good pilot. I feel mm-hmm. uh, the the writing staff they submitted rewrites, and you know I, I'm I'm gonna be controlling here. I'm a little upset that the uh, rewrites weren't passed to me first. I mean, 
Well, <laughs> l- l- let me just say this. Nobody's happy with the whole project. The whole project is in uh, in trouble right now. Yeah. Um, Shower Bench actually said Zito borrowed heavily from Charles in Charge. I do remember that when uh, <laughs> Charles in Charge's friend was choking on cum. Um, Fezzy forever, but Gabe's script was the best. Sad to say, I liked Fez's script. Why would you be sad? Yeah, you don't have to be sad about that. Now, here's one from uh, David Charles. Zito's ruled, and Fez's sucked a bag of dicks. I don't know whether that's good or bad. I say we let Pepper Hicks take a shot at rewrite. Uh, Mark Zito's sitcom, more like a sitcom. And Fez should have made Zito say that he was gay. Why didn't you do something like that, Fez? Why didn't you try to humiliate him in front of the world and put the gay line on him? What I did was I put him in my sitcom because I had to, and so I just relegated him to a part that I thought was worthy of him. Mm. One word answer. See, I think that's the problem. You saw me only as a star that was attached to the project. You didn't actually want to use, you know, the character to develop the, the script, much like, like I did with yours. What about the fact that this was all Gabe's baby from the beginning? Uh, I'm going to keep reading more. Uh, Zito with the upset. I wish Rustin was there to pop Zito in his faggy mouth. Oh. Sitcom more like a fagcom. Uh, Fez greater than Zito, but Marx was actually funny, unlike Fez's. Do you feel like yours went a little too serious, Fez? No, I don't think so. I thought the jokes were in there. Where? What was one of the jokes? I thought the uh, uh, the the virginity line was in there. I thought um, the tuna sandwich on the breath was in there. Another death in the family. That's impossible. I thought that was all in there. I thought all those. You didn't were think good that jokes. was a little hurtful towards um, Hicks since his parents died? No, I thought it was in the realm of decency. Gabe, can you cross a line sometimes with humor? Uh, you you got to push Ron, but even I thought he was being a little mean to Hicks there. Okay. There's some things we don't joke about, and parents' death is, is part of it. Mike, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, what's up, Ron? Hey, Fez. Um, I just want to say Zito's a little douchebag, but Fez right now, he is beating you out. I know you can step up and beat this little fag. I can't. I definitely think you can beat him. Bye, Fezzy. Fezzy, can you beat this little fag like your fan wants you to do? I don't. I'm not going to use that term, but I think I beat him today. I think my sitcom was ten times better than his. What do you think about the reviews that are coming in right now? I think they're fairly split. I don't know. I'm you want to count them? Well, maybe, you know, I don't know. You know, they're not all in yet either. Uh, Pete, Wisconsin, you're on Fez. Hi, I have an ending for Fez's sketch. Uh, <laughs> the bottle of scotch is hiding with Fez's imaginary shower bench. Um, how do you think of that, Fez? Well, I don't think that's probably the way to go. And my shower bench isn't imaginary. Here's one that just said, fuck, 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 let Pepper curse more. I know none of you guys gave Pepper the full thing that Gabe gave him. That's probably my mistake. In an effort to keep it two pages like the rules, I had to dial back Pepper mm. a little bit. But I, I definitely see some story arcs for him in the future. Well, both of you guys went and made your own part bigger where you played down Pepper and remember, I'm I'm kind of that Barney Miller. I'm the straight guy in a crazy world. And I felt like I was getting more gags out in this world. Maybe that wasn't so important. You know, Gabe had me set up as a three-dimensional character. It's not so much that the people at home had to laugh at everything, but they had to trust me. I needed to be their friend that they could depend on and invite into their living room every week. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I just I wrote it kind of how I how I think things really are. And how I really see myself, mm-hmm. and that's as you know, Forrest. a really, a really friendly guy. Everyone likes, and that's what's going on here. I, 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 Fez always tries to paint me as that whole, hey, no one likes you, but this script right mm. here. You were able to come up with a nice piece of fiction there. Mm. All right, um, let's add some more of these. And by the way, these are all of our own two or two friends on Twitter. If you like to get your review on, uh, maybe Fez wins if the jar of toenails was added to the sitcom. Um, Fez's demand for the most lines is weird for a guy who never talks. Well, you did have one of those days where you were kind of quiet, Fez. Yeah, I, I did have a locked-up day. Yes, I did. And you haven't had one of those in a while, right? Um, uh, no, they've been coming. They've been coming and going. Okay. Um, uh, Zito is a walking gay joke. 
Uh, uh-huh. Wait, hold on. Don't ever step on fucking Gabe's laughter. Um, <laughs> Zito, more like zzzz. Um, here's one. Fez reminds me of Earl. I don't think he gets the show. Do you get the show, Fez? I believe I get the show. Yes, I do. Well, what is it then? If you were summing it up for people. Uh, the show is Ron and Friends featuring Fez Watley. I totally got the show. I, he met this show, the the radio show, not the pretend sitcom. Uh, Pepper and Ronan need big, needed bigger roles. Isn't it the Ron and Pep show? Douche humor wins. Congratulations, Zito. Uh, they keep coming in, 202 friends on Twitter. Uh, let's go over here to uh, Mike in Connecticut. You're on Ron and Fez. Hey, guys. Uh, I like Fez's better that time. I'm kind of partial, but I, I like Fez's better. What was it that, uh, where, where do you think that he pulled away? I think the jokes were better. Hmm. Um, right. How about a, uh, uh episode with uh, Fez and Zito doing a Freaky Friday angle? Oh, that would be interesting. Maybe I will do a Freaky Friday where they have to pretend they're each other all day. I could do it. Yeah? Yeah. I would be fine at that. Why? I could I could totally get his character. How about Fez's? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Play that tomorrow. Okay. And don't forget that I definitely want to hear <laughs> Fez Boys. Uh here's Zito has this in the bag. Fez was best but got away from the high in the beauty of Pepper Hicks. It was just an attack ads for Fez versus Zito. Uh, Mark's was not real. No cum would ever hit Fez's lips. Um, why are we all still pretending Fez hasn't lost his comedic edge? He lost it a long time ago. Zito rules and funny. It's sad that Fez is always outshined by the interns. Um, Gabe? Yeah. This whole thing got away from you. Yeah, it did. And it went from being the best thing that ever happened to you to the worst. Uh, yeah, we're, we're fast approaching the worst thing. Not only that, but I've written to several production companies telling them not to hire you. <laughs> uh, that's very, that's very truthful, Ron. Blacklisted. Mm. Mm. Yes, and that's only because I saw you with a communist. <laughs> um, <laughs> Zeno was like being rape blown. Enjoyable, but you hate the person do it to you. Oh. Uh, Zito should bring Fez lunch and stop writing. Did you get any breakfast today, uh, Hicks? Nope. From the land, no breakfast. I have the feeling it'll come. Me too. It, I do. Fez was just as good as any crappy uh, TV sitcom. Zito's was more cerebral. With me dying on a load of cum? That's more cerebral? Here's one, thing around that. here's one that just says fart, fart, shit. I perfectly uh, would have added a fuck to that review. But I consider that a bad review for all of us. This is nowhere going to be near 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, let's uh, go to Aaron. You're in Fez. Have you guys learned nothing from Arizona? We've got to tone down this rhetoric. This is how people get killed, for Christ's sakes. Um... Let's hope. <laughs> Fez knows the show. He didn't get the Facebook joke in, in Gabe's play. Do his headphones work? Oh, yeah, they work fine. All right, there you have it. Hey, Fez. Yeah, see? Yeah, they do. Uh, why isn't Fez on OutQ? Well, that I don't know. Mm. I haven't been invited. Someday. someone to fight with. Dave who? Well, Fez is actually speaking. I thought he was off today. Can we change it to Ron and Fez featuring Davey Mac? Next time, more hicks, less dicks. I want it more from Ron. Out both. Gabe wins. Gabe, a lot of nice things are being said about you. I'm just sorry we destroyed your career, though. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I can at least say I had a career, even if it lasted for five days. Mm. Uh, Fez wins. Sure, Zito got a cheap laugh, but at Fez's expense, Zitz gets a zero for fucking with Fezzy. 
Oh, and that came from Happy Typing Girl. Yeah, just, uh, you know, cheap shots. Not really in the spirit of what we were trying to do here. Um, I'm waiting for uh, Mark Zito to get off one mildly entertaining line. Fez, the way. All right, we're going to break here and come back and wrap up the show. Maybe I'll have these guys go hang out.